Welcome back, I'm Gabby. I'm going to talk about converting your internet cable from your traditional cable to fiber optic using a media converter. It's very inexpensive product and it's very efficient. So what does this do? By converting your traditional line to fiber optic line, because it's glass, it doesn't carry interference. And if we feed this guy with some really good regulated power, you're going to reduce all the interference also that's going into your DAC. And uh, so I'm going to show you all the parts you need and let's get to putting it all together. So why are we changing this cable to fiber optic? If you, this cable is running alongside other power cables, maybe you have a cheap router, um, calling a lot of noise, everything will carry through this line. If we carry it through a fiber optic line, it will not get to your DAC. Now comes to the other part, we still have this converter part, and this might have some noise in it, uh, but if we feed this a very good regulated power, also we minimize the effect of the noise that's going in. So what are we going to need? We're going to need a media convert could be this one or something else. This one is by TP-Link. It's very inexpensive and it has two ports. It's very simple. One is your regular one where you know plug your cat uh, cable in here and uh, that could plug into your router. And now the other side becomes fiber optic and here you can plug in the fiber optic cable. If your uh, media convert doesn't come with this, it's called SFP. Uh, it's a slot and you put it in here and it makes it possible to plug in the fiber optic. And here you can plug in the fiber optic cable. I'll show you how to do that in a minute. So you're going to need two of these because one is going to be on the router side. So from the router you're going to plug it in here and you're going to get your fiber optic cable. And when you get to your DAC you're going to get the fiber optic cable in here and you're going to get this cable and that's going to go into your DAC. Okay, so how I connect them here, this is where my router switch is located and from there I'm going to connect the TP-Link media converter to, to the router. So I'm going to plug that cable in the back there. So now it's that media converter is connected to the router. Another option is to actually buy a switch that actually does have a fiber optic uh, output on it, an SFP, what we call it. You can see how the cable here, the fiber optic cable, is plugged in into the SFP port. Instead of having two media converters, then you only need one. This is a nice uh, switch by D-Link. I'll put a link on it, of it below because it really helped me expand my uh, my ports and it's got a couple SFP ports. You also uh, you need to plug in the SFP into the port and then now this is the fiber optic cable and you can plug that into the media converter and you also need to put a power. The media converter comes with a power adapter. On the router side it's not that critical to have the best power possible but you can change it. So this is the, uh, we're on the DAC side here by our uh, hi-fi unit. This is the fiber optic cable that comes from, comes in my case, goes in the basement, runs for about uh, 50 feet and comes out here. Now fiber optic could run up to 10 kilometers, even more some people. So this could be a very reliable way of sending internet for long distances. Anyway, so we got to the, uh, where our stereo system is. So we're going to bring that fiber optic cable and again, we're gonna, if you have a second TP-Link media converter, you got an SFP port, you're going to plug it in here and then you're going to plug your DAC into the back in here and you're going to need power for this one. This is where you really need some very clean power. Uh, you can get, pick yourself up something off the market that's good, that has very well regulated power. I uh, would recommend something like uh, an i5. Uh, I've tested this and it's really, it really has very low noise. Uh, but this is a switching power supply, believe it or not, but it is a good one. But you could buy also a regulated one. In my case, I did my own. 
And I will put a link on the one I did. This is a, a cheap part I bought off eBay for like $6. And the case for another, probably the case was more expensive than the regulator. And uh, it's using one of the old, uh, you know, telephone kind of adapter that I have laying in my house. It's a nine volt, so this converts it. And uh, so it's regulated. And, uh, and so you gotta give it good power and this plugs in here. So now you have clean power going into the media converter and then uh, the fiber optic coming so we know it's as clean as we can. And you have a very short link of regular cable that goes into your DAC. So there you have it. By using two of these TP-Link media converters or one and a regular switch with a fiber optic SFP outlet, you can convert very easily your regular internet to fiber optic using very inexpensive product without spending thousands of dollars buying some of those advertised, they'll achieve the same uh, results. I hope this video uh, was helpful to you. If you uh, seem to uh, like it, please uh, subscribe. I'll put a little uh, speaker down here. And if you like to see how I have uh, tested all uh, these uh, power adapters and how I did the regulator, uh, I'll put a link up here about it. Take care and we'll see you on the next one.